Okay, so let's go ahead and finish the cube. The next thing you're going to want to do from this um, step is to go ahead and pair up all of your um, edge pairs. So for example, um, here's a blue and white edge pair. Like that. So you want to get these little um, 3 by one edge pairs. And then once you do that, we can go ahead and go to the next step. So you should have all of your um, edges lined up and everything now. So we can go ahead and solve it like a 3 by 3 The only difference is, of course, that you need to make sure that you align um, your centerpieces. For example, this blue and white here is aligned with the blue, but not with the white. See how this green is aligned with the blue? That's wrong. Even though the white is aligned, you have to make sure that the secondary pieces are aligned also. So let's go ahead and fix that, just like that. Now you can do this intuitively, but um, in case you can't figure out how to do it, all you have to do is rotate this one out of the way, rotate it to the up layer, then fix this one whatever way you need to to where the blue points at the blue, and then rotate it back down. So for example, if I was doing the green face, um, see how this green isn't matched up here? So all I would have to do is rotate it to the top and out of the way and then I can just align the white pointing upwards pull it back so it's matched and then rotate it downwards just like that. I'm um, we'll go ahead and do it with the uh, red here. Now again you can do this intuitively for example I can pull this one over match it like that and then move it down pair it like that but again you don't have to do it that way you can just do it um, the normal way. So for example, this white needs to be matched up with that white. So I'll move it out of the way, point it upward so that it'll pair, and then just rotate down. And make sure that you're rotating um, this correctly and all of these correctly. So you should have the white pointing down on all of these. See, that one's not correct. I need to fix that one. So go to the top, move it out of the way, make the white point up align it and then go down so it, it's a little bit different from a normal 3 by 3 you can't just put in the edges wherever you want you have to really make sure that you put them in correctly and if you don't do this step correctly if you don't orient all these centers except for the last one we haven't got there yet but if you don't orient the first five centers when you do the cross then it's gonna mess you up later and you're not gonna be able to solve the puzzle so make sure you do this part correctly so now that we're done with that we can just go ahead and solve um, the first two layers or in this case the first four layers but basically you're doing it the same way that you would F2L and you can use beginners F2L or you can use um, full F2L I'll go ahead and make a little advertisement here if you don't know how to do F2L very well I have a good tutorial on my channel on how to do so it teaches you every single F2L case the well not every case but the basic cases the 42 standard 42 the 42 standard cases of f2l and that will help you increase your solves and it's just good to know all around i mean knowing f2l just intuitively it makes your brain um stronger because a lot of people who have problems with intuitiveness um f2l is probably their their hardest one to do because a lot of it is intuitive but i mean if you get good at f2l then your the intuitive part of your brain will benefit a lot so anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and um, orient the top layer here and the way that I'm gonna do the top layer is I'm not gonna do three by three layer by layer I'm gonna do it um, with a two look last layer or a four look last layer really the same thing um, but you can't do it with the layer by layer method I mean you can but it's pretty hard and just when it comes to orienting the center it's not very easy to do so if you do it with the layer by layer method you're gonna have problems with it so what I would learn is I would learn a four look last layer or a two look last layer if you're a beginner try the four look last layer it's a little bit easier um, less algorithms and if you don't know how to do that I also have a tutorial on my channel that teaches you how to do it just look up the tutorial how to solve a Rubik's Cube in under a minute um, and really all you can do is all you have to do is just skip to the last part where it talks about the top layer. You can watch the uh, first two layer video if you want to. Anyway, enough advertisement. Let's go ahead and finish up this cube here. So I'm just going to finish orienting it. 
There we go. Okay, so now that it um, is completely oriented, I'm going to start permuting the corners. Let's do corners first. There we go. And then all I have to do is do an edge cycle. See? Cycling the edges around. And there we go. It is solved. But wait! You have to do the centers! Because when you do the four look last layer or the two look last layer method, you will mess up two of your centers. You will mess up the top center. Well, actually, technically, you didn't ever align the top center. So it should be messed up. And you're going to mess up one of the um, centers on the middle layer, the F2L layer. The base one should be fine, and the other th um, three on the middle layer should be fine. But you'll mess up two of your centers. Now, what happens is, if you do it the layer by layer method, there's a chance that you'll only mess up one. And if you mess up one, it's really hard to fix it. At least if it's turned 90 degrees. If you have one that's turned 180 degrees, which you might if you do it the two layer method. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But this is the way that you do it with um, uh, if you have two of them that are turned by 90 degrees. So you'll notice that this one, this blue has to go 90 degrees over here. And this white has to go 90 degrees downward. So I'm just going to do the algorithm from the um, 4x4 four four super cube. And I will post this one in the sidebar again make sure that you have one on the up face and one on the left face and again I've said this before but I've had questions about it this will only work if you have two that are turned 90 degrees if you only have one that's turned 90 degrees your cube is not solvable and you have messed up somewhere so redo pretty much the entire cube um, you don't have to redo the centers or the edge pairing but you're going to have to solve it like a three by three over again and make sure that you orient your centers correctly because if you don't you won't be able to solve the cube because it is impossible to rotate one center 90 degrees without messing up any of the other ones so again up face Left face, here's the algorithm. M, E, M prime, U, M, E prime, M prime, U prime. And there you go. You solved it. Your 5x5 five five super cube should be solved. But wait, what if you're in a situation where you only have one piece and it's flipped 180 degrees everything else is solved this one is extremely easy check it out just put it on the up face and do this algorithm again it needs to be turned see this blue needs to go there green needs to go there r u r prime u r u r prime u and you're going to do that i believe five times but really just keep doing it until the cube solves itself there you, there you go that's a really easy one you don't have to learn uh really hard algorithm so there you go that's how to solve the 5x5 five five super cube you should have done it by now Whee! so i hope you liked the tutorial i hope it helped i know that some people have problems with the super cube the 5x5 five five super cube and just super cubes in general so i do have a 4x4 four four tutorial and now a 5x5 five five tutorial so nobody should have problems with their super cubes anymore yay anyway so hope you liked the video um, if you did, please look at my channel at some of my other videos. I have a bunch of cubing stuff, so I'm sure you'll find something that you like. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it, and it will also benefit you so that you know when I make new videos, if these videos help you. Also, if you have any requests or comments or questions, feel free to post them um, in the comment box below. Uh, get Or questions, as I said before, if you have a question, go ahead and post it below. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe. See you next time.